What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of NS9 Cardboard. I'm Jim. Today we've got Topps Heritage High Number, um, 2023 Topps Heritage High Number. Um, Heritage, always a pretty fun rip, right? Um, kind of a cool product that they do. The cards this year um, are from the 1974 Topps design. Um, this is essentially like the high number version is basically like series two, right? It's a pretty big set. There's 725 total cards in the set. Topps Heritage high number comes with cards 500 through uh, 725. Cards 701 through 725 are short prints. So there are 25 short prints in here, but pretty much all the guys who they can't get into the first original Topps Heritage they put in here so kind of think of this as, as heritage series two heritage update however you want to think of it um there is one hit per box it's not necessarily an autograph it could be a relic um hits are i'll tell you what hits are tough in this product it is it is a very very um you know value rip uh you can buy this box for around 60 65 dollars somewhere like that um a lot of cards in it not necessarily the most expensive product you can find some pretty cool stuff in here you'll see things like uh you know back in the day like when when you know 74 tops you had like error cards and and things like that so you'll have things like little weird things on these cards sometimes where like the color will be swapped or um something will be missing or um yeah, like there, there's error cards, there's variations, there's there's neat things like that. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's open it up, see how we do. It looks like we've got an actual 1970. This is another cool thing that they do. So it looks like we actually have a real 1974 tops card as our box topper. So you can see there, 50th anniversary 1974 tops. We've got Steve Busby. It's in pretty good condition too. This card. I mean, it's not like a, not like a great player by any means, but for a 50 year old card, that thing's in pretty good shape. Not bad. We'll take it. And then uh, like I said, they, they stamp those with that 50th anniversary logo. So there you go. 50 year old card right off the bat. Um, lots of cards in here. We'll roll through them pretty quickly. We are looking for rookies. Um, we're looking for short prints. We're looking for variations. If we can somehow grab ourselves an autograph, that'll be really cool. But um, it's not likely. I'll say that. Um, but Oscar Collis rookie. Um, there's a Tristan Cassis insert. So if you're into uh, if you're into like vintage cards and. And the vent like design, this will this will take you back in time a bit. Look at that Drew Maggi rookie card, Matt Mervis, Brito, Julian. There's a Jordan Walker rookie. That'll be worth. Probably a dollar or so. Again, this is a, it's a, it's a nice cheap rip. This whole box, less than uh, less than seventy bucks. Cody Bolton rookie card. Lots of uh, I'm seeing lots of horizontal cards already. Kind of first, uh, you know, first glimpse of things. Tristan Cassis rookie. I did open, I opened a box of regular heritage earlier in the year. And I want to say that my, my hit was a Bryce Harper, um, Jersey card. There's a Bobby Miller rookie, Trevor Rogers. So a few years ago, I remember when they 
when they used to not like it was a it was a Taj Bradley insert. Um, they used to not like make it obvious when the uh, like the errors and the variations and stuff. Um, that, like when you got one of those, now they let's see there there's something that backwards card. So that backwards card means that like something is special about that card. Um, maybe that's in color swap. You know, we'll, we'll find out what it is here. Um, it is a Xander Bogarts. Let's see if we can figure out what exactly this one is. Uh, error card. So if you see there on the bottom left-hand corner, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but on the bottom left-hand, there it is. See right there where it says error so they actually made an error card here and you can actually spot what the error is, right? And you put it next to a regular card and you can see that they basically, uh, they left off his position. So this Xander Bogarts, Bogarts card is missing his position on it, thus making it an error card. Um, the only problem is present day errors are, uh, they're on purpose, but those, uh, those error cards, they um they're they're kind of rare. I want to look up the the odds here. Um Let's see. Error cards are who we let's see. Wow. Okay. So error cards one in every 3214 packs. One in every 3,214 packs. So, yeah. That's kind of tight. There you go. Xander Bogart's error card. Nice rare pull there. I said it's kind of cool as they, they do that little stuff. Jose Hernandez, rookie card. Hobie Harris, Jose Quas, Tanner Bybee. Dad Ward. So a lot of rookies in the high number. I haven't even been looking really for uh, for short prints. Shoemake, Ethan Small, Medina. So like I said, they don't really tell you that the short prints are. The short prints are 701 to 725 so if it starts with a seven it's likely a short print and i think they do short prints like once every i want to say once every three packs once every four packs Let's see if we've gotten any yet no none yet Unless these rookies were. Nope. Yeah, so we're still waiting for short prints. Short prints are one in every four packs. So in a, in a box of, what are there, 24 in here? Yeah, so there should be, theoretically, we should get six short prints. No. All right. There's a Yuri Perez rookie. Kodai Senga rookie. There is our first short print also. So Wade Miley is a short print. Doesn't say anything about it, but like I said, 701 to 725 are are short printed. So I will like Heritage is one of those sets that um you get a lot of people who like because I said there's a lot of cards in here. 725 cards, like almost everyone in the major leagues gets a card in Tops Heritage, which isn't the case in every product. So you get a lot of a lot of collectors will kind of use this as like their de facto. It's a Josh Young rookie card. They'll use this and they'll, uh, you know, they'll 
they'll collect just the whole set. Jared Schuster. Because it's a fun, there we go, Corey Lee, that's going to be a short print. Um, just a fun, fun set to collect. It's like I said, it's relatively inexpensive, so you can collect a whole thing for not a lot of money. Um, you can usually collect at least the entire base set just by, just by ripping it. The short prints, tough to come by every once in a while. Like you, you're gonna have to theoretically rip four of these right to come up with a full short print um set the yoshida rookie mason miller rookie so when people uh that's stuart fairchild here that's a short print so this is a this is just one of those fun sets like collectors they they trade a lot they do a lot of trading with this set if you're on uh, tradingcarddatabase.com, um, you'll have a lot of people who are looking to, oh man, look at that card, that got dented. I don't know if you can see there, there you go. You'll have a lot of people who, um, they'll they'll complete these sets and they'll, uh, they'll trade, which is kind of neat because, hey, that's what like this hobby I feel like was like built on. It's just like meeting people and trading cards and you know trading other people's favorite players for your favorite players so heritage is one of those like if you're a baseball card collector you like tops heritage it's just it's just a fun set grayson rodriguez rookie there's andrew mccutcheon in a pirates jersey we'll sleeve that up i don't have one of those I'm a big Andrew McCutcheon card collector, and these last few years it's been it's been rough having to uh, having to see him in other teams' uniforms. So having him back in a Pirates jersey is is nice. I welcome that. Michael Bush, he was just traded. Joey Weimer, he was just traded too. Cole Reagan's rookie, he had a really nice second half. My dog and my cat are over here playing with each other. East Story Ruiz. JJ Blade. So when I when I'm flipping those over, I'm just looking for for short prints. I don't know if we missed one there with one of those other packs. Like I said they don't really do a good job of of letting you know what's a short print and what isn't. You just kind of have to figure it out. They at least with those variation cards now they at least um, Taj Bradley rookie. They at least flip them over. That helps. David Bednar. Um, the cool thing about this year's heritage too, I feel like 74 tops must have been the first set where like all of the pictures are action photos prior to this tops heritage was mostly just like dude standing there holding a bat or holding a glove. Like there wasn't anything special about it. There's our hit. So with the thickness of that card, I'm going to guess this is a relic. We'll push that to the back. So probably not an autograph which again, pretty tough to find. And there we have it. Jonathan India, game used bat. That's pretty neat. Jeez, a dog. That, the, the, the dogs, I don't know what it is. They'll just be chill and not do anything all day long. And then as soon as I turn the camera on, they're like, you know what? It's time to go crazy. This one's too thick. Is there something in between? Ah, there we go. Perfect. 
There we go. There's our hit. Jonathan India game used bat card. So not the greatest hit. Maybe there's still something else here. Yeah, there's something. That's a chrome. Put that in the back too. There's the regular Bogarts. So just as a comparison here, we got the error Bogarts and then the regular one, the error one missing the, uh, the position. Vince Velazquez, Shintaro Fujinami, and Alex Lang is our chrome. Those are numbered to 274. So this is 182 out of 274. Alex Lang for the Tigers. Just want to check those for short prints. Nope. There's an Anthony Volpe rookie card. Yeah, I like the way these cards look. I like, I said, I like that they're action photos. That's kind of neat because uh, that's that is new when it comes to heritage. So going forward, seventy-four tops and on, we should have at least like action photos like this, which is neat. Matt McLean. Freddie Fermin here is a short print, short print rookie. How about that. Three more packs. Oscar Mercado, short print. See if we can get one more hit. Well, at least like a some sort of numbered parallel or variation. There's a Zach Neto. Brandon Williamson. Short print. All right, last pack. Brandon Fott. That will do it. One last short print in that pack as well is Randy Vasquez. So quick recap. Short Prince, Brandon Williamson, Oscar Mercado, Freddie Fermin, John Gray, uh, Stuart Fairchild, Corey Lee, Wade Miley, Randy Vasquez. That's, what, eight Short Prints, just like there should be. Um, some rookie cards that we sleeved up here. Zach Neto, Volpe, Yoshida, Young, Perez, Senga, Miller, Cassis, Jordan Walker. And then our hits... We'll go, we'll start off with the uh, the 50th anniversary card. This was the box topper, Steve Busby, 1974 tops. Alex Lang, chrome refractor. 
out of 274. Jonathan India, game used bat. And the Xander Bogarts error card. I said one in every 3,000 some packs. So nice hit there. Nice little rare card. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know what you like about Topps Heritage High Number um, or Topps Heritage set in general. Um, we'll have more stuff here coming up uh, soon as well. But it's always a fun rip, cheap product. Um, if, you're, if, you're, like said, if you just like collecting baseball cards, this is the set for you. You get a lot of cards, a lot of players. Uh, it's a fun set to collect. So appreciate you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and we'll talk to you later. See you all.